Hello YouTube, today we're going to take a look at this brand new Trick or Treat Studios uh, Head Razor Inferno Layment Configuration Replica uh, This one just came out, Trick or Treat Studios I believe started shipping this few days ago and I'm very glad that I got this one for my horror collection uh, I've seen so many different uh, Head Razor Layment boxes uh, online and in stores but I didn't really like them and because they look cheap and not too special and like a plastic looking and I didn't want those for my collection mm -hmm. so when I spotted when I saw this one at Trick or Treat Studios website I really really liked it and I found out that this one made out of uh, actual wood mm -hmm. so it has weight on it and it looks completely different and better um, this one was hundred dollar and I wasn't sure mm -hmm. that if I should get this and actually worth it, but I, it looked and I kind of liked it because it looks like it's more uh, fancy looking, more professional, mm -hmm. and so I ended up getting it. Uh, but if you guys don't really care and uh, you just wanna, you know, you guys not a big you know, a razor fan, you can also go with the cheaper ones. They still gonna look good, but when you grab them and touch them, then you kind of don't really like it. But yeah, if I want to recommend, I will go with this one because it looks well, very well made and more professional. Uh, so I can't wait to take him out, of, take this thing out of the box and see how it feels and how it looks. But what I'm going to do first is I'm going to start with the box. You can see it's still in the box and they give this uh, window box. And I, re I really like that. In the top, it says Hellraiser Inferno. And in the bottom is just a uh, layman configuration replica with the trick or treat studio sign in the right uh, corner right there uh, but I'm gonna bring it closer so you guys can see how it looks uh, yeah you can see you can still see the box even though it's inside the box uh, just the title and stuff I thought the box is gonna be like a different looking but it's actually they made it not too big uh, more like a simple looking box and the top it just says welcome to hell with the uh, pinheads picture right there really cool and the sides is just the same thing in the front just you can see the other side of the box so for those of you who wants to keep this in the box uh, you can still do it but I personally would like to take him out to check it and see how it feels and stuff and this is the back yeah so I would like to take him out because uh, even though we can still see it like this but it's still better to take him out and check more so that's what I'm gonna do right now I'm gonna go and take this layment out of the box so stay tuned all right guys here's the layment out of the box I'm uh, very very excited for this it looks absolutely great it doesn't look cheap uh, because I was, to be honest, worried that it might look cheap and I'm not gonna like it that much because this is my very first limit box and from the experience that I had from this thing wasn't that good. They all mostly like they look cheap and not well made, not professional that much. Mostly it felt like it's a toy, but this one has a weight on it and it looks very well done. And I would definitely recommend this for anyone that like uh, Hellraiser and they watched all the movies and they want to have a collection in their room. This is absolutely great. Uh, it, look, it has weight on it. I believe it's three inches. Uh, also, that's what it says in the the website and stuff. And then, but maybe when you put it on the stand, it stands maybe four inches. Like it gives it a little bit height and i'm glad they give that stand you can see it's just a plastic thing but i'm going to show you guys too they give that stand as well um it looks really really cool and also this one it got designed by mark phillips so he did a great job on this and overall it looks super cool i'm gonna bring it closer so you guys can see every detail that he done for this piece it's absolutely nice yeah the detail on this it's super super good and I like how it shine and it has this uh, goldish material 
and then in the website it says like this uh, layman box design using scans of actual screen used layman box and it's three inches and uh, and it's made in a solid red wood with nickel etching like exactly like the layman box uh, that used in uh, Hellraiser Inferno that's actually great and it, it looks like it's like to be honest it, from what I was checking the movie it looks like it just came out of the movie so it's I'm glad um, that it doesn't have the cheap look and you can see it's actually hard material it's not plastic and light so it has weight on it I will say maybe a pound or two pounds but still that great because the ones I saw in the stores and website they feel like uh, it's super super light and not even had a weight on it and I kind of didn't want like I rather pay a little bit more and have the better looking ones the ones like it's gonna look much better I'm gonna show you guys all the sides of this uh, little spots all around The same thing repeating and here there is the black part of it super super cool you can uh, basically design this uh, in a multiple ways you can put it in a stand just like that I wouldn't like it just put it like like this on my shelf like without a stand because it doesn't look too good or there is a kind of like this glassy things you put it and you put it on top of the head i actually have that i'm going to show you guys what i mean in a little bit later um uh, the sides and stuff are pretty sharp especially the corners so definitely not for kids mostly it's good for only to display it not to play and anything I need a fling of it. I'm glad it's not just a paint on, so you can see it's actually on top of it. So it's not just painted. Really, really cool. And now I'm gonna uh, bring the stand. It just comes with this uh, like simple looking plastic made stand just black uh, but I'm glad they give this because I wouldn't like to uh, display this uh, without a stand so I'm glad they included this just a light plastic I wish it was made out of a wood or something but it's fine as long as it can hold it it's all good and then um, you just put this thing and it goes like that and then you can just perfectly display it like this and i'm sure it's gonna look great on anyone's shelf uh so what i'm gonna do right now is i'm gonna bring that uh glass thing that i was talking about and i'm gonna put it so you guys can see how it looks first i'm gonna try if it's actually gonna work i didn't try it maybe i'm sure it should fit but i'm just gonna make sure so i'll be back Alright guys, here's what I was talking about, like I just put it my lemon box in this, uh, I don't know what the name of this, but this glassy thing that uh, I noticed people like they, I saw pictures like they display this lemon box inside that and actually it looks super cool and I decided to try it, uh, I'm thinking to buy one more of these things because I got this one a long time ago and I'm displaying my uh, skull, I have a skull, two headed skull and I put it inside this glass but actually i like this idea and i decided to share to see if you guys like to display this layman outside the box or uh, outside this thing or inside so i would like to share and i think they both look cool if you guys don't have this you can just simply display it without it but i think like this looks even better 
uh so yeah let me know your thoughts what do you guys think about this stance actually makes it i feel like it makes it more fancier all right guys that's all about this layman box i think it looks really really cool and uh it's very well made and by the way this glass thing it doesn't come with it i just put it uh my own thing but if you guys like this idea i'm sure it's gonna look great to display it with the glass and yeah i actually like this i will definitely recommend this to any hellraiser fan uh, i think no matter which hellraiser you guys like this is still gonna look great no matter the first one second third fourth fifth it's a great still display for a hellraiser fan and let me know your thoughts and also i would like to know what's your favorite hellraiser movie out of all and i would like to know that and also feel free to uh, like and subscribe and leave me a comment uh, or any questions you guys have i would like to answer them and until next time i will see you guys later